Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was, where is the headquarters of UNICEF located? And guys, it is at New York. That is the right answer. Let's now start today's session. First question for the day, which among the following is our sources of revenue for the states? 1. Excise duty on liquor. 2. Land revenue. 3. Sales tax. And select the correct answer using the calls given below. Option A, 1 and 2 only. Option B, 2 and 3 only. Option C, 3 only. And option D, 1, 2 and 3. Guys, here all our sources of revenue for the states. So our answer is option D, 1, 2 and 3. Guys, recently, Delhi and Andhra Pradesh government are levying 70 to 75% additional fee on liquor purchases. And the reason behind this is that Due to this COVID situations, state's revenue drastically reduced, so to boost up revenue, this has been introduced. And as we all know, in India, the excess duty on liquor is divided by respective state governments. And also, manufacture and sale of liquor are major sources of revenue for the states. A ban on alcohol sales was a crucial part of the lockdown. It deprived states of critical revenue. So, the state excess duty on alcohol is the second or third largest contributor to the own tax revenue of the states. It accounts for nearly 10 to 15 percent of tax receipts for a majority of states. And licenses to sell alcohol, fines and confiscation of alcoholic products also add to the exchequer of the states. And mainly the states revenue comprises broadly into two categories, tax revenue and non-tax revenue. And tax revenue is again divided into two further categories, states on tax revenue and share in central taxes. Again, on tax revenue comprises three principal sources. One is taxes on income, that is taxes on professions, trades, employment, etc. Second one is taxes on property and capital transactions, that is land revenue, stamps and registration fees, urban immovable property tax, etc. And third is taxes on commodities and services, that is sales tax, uh, VAT, central sales tax, surcharges on sales tax, receipts of turnover tax, etc. And non-tax revenue comprises collection by the governments for, the, for providing and facilitating any goods and services. So that are the state's revenue. And we will now move to second question. Second question is stringency index to know how strict a country's measures were and at what stage of pandemic spread it enforced these recently seen in the news is released by option a who option b world trade organization option c center for disease control and prevention and option d oxford university guys the correct answer here is it is option d oxford university so guys, it is among the metrics used by the Oxford COVID-19 government response tracker which involves a team of 100 Oxford community members who have continuously updated a database of 17 indicators of government response and provides a picture of the stage at which any country enforced its strongest measures. And these indicators examine containment policies such as school and workplace closings, public events, public transport and stay at home policies. And this index is a number from 0 to 100 that reflects these indicators. A higher index score indicates a higher level of stringency. And when compared to other countries with a similar or higher case load, India caught its strict lockdown at a much earlier point on its case and uh, death curves. And India has enforced one of the strongest lockdown measures in the world at a 100 score. Uh, so that is it. We will now move to last question for the day. Last question is with reference to locust attacks recently seen in the news. Consider the following statement. Statement 1. They are a group of short horned grasshoppers that multiply in numbers. Statement 2. It can travel up to 150 kilometers a day. And statement 3. The desert locust is regarded as the most destructive pest in India as well as internationally. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 and 2 only, Option B 2 and 3 only, Option C 1 and 3 only and Option D 1, 2 and 3. Guys, the correct answer here is all the above statements are correct. So it is Option D 1, 2 and 3.
Guys, locusts are a group of short-horned grasshoppers that multiply in numbers as they migrate long distances in destructive swarms. Here you can see the image of locusts traveling. And recently there has been attack of locusts in northern parts of India, particularly in Rajasthan. And four species of locusts are found in India. That are desert locust, migratory locust, Bombay locust and tree locust. And the desert locust is regarded as the most destructive pest in India as well as internationally also with a small swamp covering one square kilometer being able to consume the same amount of food in one day as 35,000 people could consume. So that is the extent of uh, destruction they could make. And the swamps devour leaves, flowers, fruit, seeds, bark and growing points and also destroy plants by their sheer weight as they descend on them in massive numbers and uh, desert locusts which belong to the family of grasshoppers normally live and breed in semi-arid or desert regions for laying eggs they require bare ground which is rarely found in areas with dense ve vegetation uh, so they breed in Rajasthan but not in indo gangetic plain or Godavari and Kaveri delta but green vegetation is required for hopper development so as individuals or in small isolated groups locusts are not very dangerous but when they grow in large population their behavior changes and they transform from solitary phase into a disastrous phase and start forming uh, swarms and uh, historically the locust control has involved spraying on organophosphate pesticides on the night resting places of the locust and uh, Indian Institute of Sugarcane Research Lucknow advised farmers to spray some chemicals to control the swamps. However, the center on May 14th banned the use of two such chemicals out of this. And guys, our today's quiz question is this only: which chemicals are banned by government, which is which was used to control locust? So please post your answers in the comment section. That's it. That's all for today guys. Please post your scores also in the comment section. We will meet tomorrow with another notifications. Thank you for watching.